Hello Reformers and welcome to a special feature of Starpoint Gemini Warlords. Now of course there have been two previous Starpoint Gemini games and well both of those were relatively similar to each other with some major improvements from one to the other of course. But this, this changes things around quite a bit and this has been likened to Mountain Blade in space. So, well, I gotta play it, obviously. I have to play it, so yeah, we're gonna be starting a new game. If you are interested in this game, then the link to the Steam Store page is down in the description. So let's start a new game and get going here. So, campaign, humble beginnings, trading is in my blood, and so forth. Yeah, play through the storyline and continue as free roam. After finishing the storyline, you're free to continue playing the scenario as a standard free roam mode, making a name for yourself and your faction. That sounds good to me. Docking clamps disengaged successfully. Final checkup can commence. SCS Icarus, proceed with departure. Affirmative command, we're green for departure. Engineering, begin main system startup. Aye, sir. Primary sensor grid is online. Powering shields. Detecting minor fluctuations in the shield matrix. Fluctuations noted for post-flight examination. Continue with the startup, Icarus. Roger that, Concordia. Engineering, prepare for main engine start on my mark. Engage. Main engine burn looks good. No abnormal readings. Helm, mark course and proceed. Aye, sir. Proceeding as planned. Icarus. Make the Concord proud. Concordia out. Icarus to escort ships fall in line. Alright, so there we are. We have now taken position in our own ship and we are going to be you know, obviously going next to the Icarus. So let's move the ship around, shall we? And we have to scroll up and scroll down to improve our speed, as you can see here. We're going to go to about 50%, maybe 60%. Maybe a little bit more. Yes. Press B to engage sublight. There you go. We're going very, very fast. Oh, yeah. Escort vessels in position. Icarus proceeding to waypoint. Icarus to Cyrene, follow closely but not too close. We don't want to scratch the fresh paint off the first ever Concord battleship in its trial run. Roger that, sir. We'll be careful. All right, so use left mouse button on an object to lock on as a target. So, for example, that. Yes, that. 
no, actually not. Let's just go over there, shall we? Let's just select the Icarus, and we can open this, and let's click on Follow. And then it goes into Autopilot, which is absolutely fantastic. I have done this tutorial before, but I felt like it might be a nice idea for you to see some of the story, and that's exactly the reason why we're going through it again. Concordia, we've reached the first checkpoint, running checks to see if we're still in one piece. Affirmative, please run full system diagnostics. The Icarus is still a prototype, an advanced one, but still a prototype. Roger that, he's so protective of the ship. I would be too, sir, if I designed it. I know, I know, but what's the worst thing that can ha- Engineering to bridge, be advised, sensors detect microfractures on the port hull plating. Roger. Serene, please scan our plating. Sir? As Mr. Trace said, this is still a prototype, and I can't be completely sure the sensors are working properly. I want a verification before letting the good cyborg know. Icarus, you're broadcasting on all frequencies. I may not like your tone, but the idea is sound. Do the scan, Serene. Trace out. Yes, sir. Scanning the Icarus. I'll relay the info to the Concordia as well. All right, so... Now we can, of course, uh, if I can actually, can I, can I move the camera, please? Get, how do I, how do I do that, actually? Ah, there we go, there we go. All right, so scan. No, not shoot at it. Scan it. Ugh. Initializing scan. Icarus, your sensor data is correct. Structural damage detected. Copy that, Cyrene. Concordia, are you getting this? Nothing to worry about, Icarus. Damage is minor. Section is noted for overhaul in the next iteration. Great, great. I'm sure the captain of the next iteration will be pleased, but I'm still dispatching repair drones. Advised. Sensor buoys are detecting multiple ships converging on your position. Moving to intercept. Negative Sirene. Stay in formation. Incoming ships, this is the SCS Icarus. Identify yourself. Concordia appraised for narrow security fleet of the situation. We might use their help soon. Incoming ships, you've entered the territory of the Solari Concord without permission. Identify. Concord territory? You will never have a claim in Gemini, Imperial Burra. They clearly mean business. Fleet engage. No Burra is attacking us. Here we go. All right. So press space to switch between cursor modes, as you can see here. Yeah, there we go. And now press F to. F yeah, there we go. To f f uh, fire at will mode. Yes, fire at will mode. And we can also fire light weapons as well. I'm going to just try and speed up a little bit. And X to fire heavy weapons. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Press divide on a hostile target to mark target. Mark target will be focused with light weapons when possible. Yeah. There we go. Target is down. And I actually like this curse mode a lot more because it's a little bit more responsive. I will be able to move around a little bit more, but as you can see, we're just absolutely destroying these right now, which is perfectly fine with me. Doing some nice critical hits as well. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Oh yeah, that is what we like to see. Yeah, that one's down. That one is down. And now we can just focus on this one.
as you can see as well, most of the weapons have energy. So if you want to be the most effective you can be, then you have to obviously angle your ship in the right direction because, well, otherwise one of your weapons is going to be out of energy and the others are not going to be able to shoot. So you need to be, you know, a little bit mindful of that. And obviously this is the final ship, the biggest ship that the pirates or whoever they may be you know, have at their disposal. And it seems like this is going to be a nice explosion soon enough. What the hell was that, Higgs? Hunting down hostiles, sir. Doing it blindly will only get you killed. You're a good captain, Terra, and the Concords need good captains more than ever. That ship wasn't doing any real damage. Your frigate, on the other hand, could have. Aye, sir. It won't happen again. Concordia, the situation has been handled. Concordia? Sir, our comm array was damaged in the collision. Long-range communication is not possible. And we're also detecting some damage on the propulsion. Let me try, sir. Concordia, this is the Sirene. Please respond. Jammer. Attacked. Concordia's under attack. Sirene, get to the station as fast as you can. What about you? What if the attackers come back? You have no way of contacting us. We can handle it. Our engines are down, not our shields or weapons. Proceed to the Concordia, now. That's an order. By your command. Alright, so we have to get back. As you can see, we're also gaining some experience. Press M to open the star chart. So this is our first look at the main map. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. You will be able to explore for a very, very long time. Anyway, we now have to... Oh, set a waypoint on the star chart. Okay, so where is where we need to go? Back here, I assume. There we are. All right, so let's uh, set a waypoint. Can I can I not set a waypoint right here? Yeah, I think I think I have set a waypoint, haven't I? Or oh my, yeah, I that's the thing. I have done this tutorial hilariously enough, and every single time I do it, I'm just like, hmm, yeah, it's very difficult. To kind of know what's going on there. Okay, so W. There we go. Okay, so we're we're going there. There we are. Okay, so you, yeah, it's actually right click. Yeah, you can you can press left click to sort of target it or whatever, and then yeah. Okay, this this is obviously a little bit easier. What are you doing here, Sarin? Where's the Icarus? Their comm array is damaged, but overall they're in good condition. The captain sent us here to assist. Assist with what? There was only a handful of ships and the Fenera security took care of them. Wait, how was the array damaged? One of the ships attacking us did a kamikaze on the Icarus. Tara, the Icarus comm array is not exposed. I can hardly envision a way a ship slamming into the Icarus could have any impact on the comm array. Concordia to all ships, proceed to the Icarus's last known position. Use jump capability if possible. Higgs, can the Sirene jump? Negative. The drive has no charges. Wait, are you thinking sabotage? No time for that. Come closer and use the transporter. I'm sending over the coordinates of the transport platform. Alright, so transport T-drive charges from the Concordia, and we need to get over there, don't we? Yes. Let us... Yes, okay, open that and select transport. Not fire at will, thank you very much. Alright, jump to the designated waypoint. This one? No? Wait, okay. This one, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, look at that, how fast are we? No, that's 
possible. Cyrene, situation report. Icarus. Concordia. The Icarus has been destroyed. Cyrene to all ships. The Kerns are trying to run away. After them. Let no one escape. Cyrene, that's a negative. Cyrene! Terra, no. We'll have our payback later. You need to search for survivors. I can't... We can't let the Commander die like this. Not like this. You're right. Fleet, disengage and search for survivors. Scan every inch of this debris field. Rescue as many people as possible, but your priorities are Exo Harcrow and the Commander. Is that... I may have located the Commander's escape pod. Alright, so this is where we get to decide our captain, I suppose. So, we are going to be, well, let's have a look here. We're going to be a male, I guess, and what are we going to see? Oh no, oh wow, okay. I, I guess the mean looking guy, the mean looking guy we'll go with right here. And we're going to be calling ourselves, I don't even know, James, because it was Jane. And I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? So, James, James Blackwell? I... Okay, James Tea Biscuit. There you go. Tea Biscuit, really? Ugh, no, come on now. We've got to do something. We've got to do something a little bit better. What about Tea? Hmm. Ah, oh, I am terrible. Tea teacup? There you go. James Teacup. Done. Done it. Done. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here, we also have different classes to choose. The sharpshooter class is a long-range, high-burst damage dealer capable of pushing enemies away, creating a holographic copy of your ship, and distributing damage across multiple targets. The Marauder is a sabotaging sneak attack class, which utilizes cloaking technology, single-shot finishing moves, and the disabling and weakening of enemies' ships. And the Vanguard is a class best utilized in close quarters, capable of ramming enemies, pulling them in, and blasting them away. Okay, so I think we're probably... I'm going to go for the Marauder. That sounds really cool. Subject life signs deteriorating. Critical condition imminent. Begin automated medical administration. Accessing medical records. Error. Data corruption detected. Initializing secondary recognition protocols. Accessing subject's memory fragments through temporal cortex stimulation. So, this is also, this is technically incorporating the character creation. So, as you can see, you gain a bunch of different perks and various other things. So, for example, for this, you gain Dip Diplomacy 1, which unlocks new conversation options. This gives you increased freelance job rewards, and this improves trading prices. I think I'm going to go for the Diplomacy, because I think it would be really fun to see the new conversation options. And then we also have Improves Your Boarding Ability, Show More Info on Targets, Conduct Research Faster. I think Improving Our Boarding Ability... Uh, research, I think. Okay, Fix a One Perk, Faster System Repair, Unlocks Repairing Structures, Improved Hacking... And better defense while in asteroid fields. Improved hacking, we'll go for. 97% probability of positive identity match as Teacup James. Male. <laughs> Teacup James. It sounds like a cowboy, doesn't it now? It sounds like a cowboy. In, in a bad sort of Wild West parody. We found the commander, but he is in critical condition. The pod's medical is keeping him alive. Barely. I'll personally join the search and rescue, but we can't risk losing him. Get that pod to Feneros as fast as you can, Terra. Good to see you on your feet, Commander. For a moment there, we thought we'd lost you. We weren't sure if you had made it off the Icarus until Tara found your escape pod. 
Okay, so this is this is obviously us now. So Hard Crow sent me down to engineer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, to engineering after the first attack to see if I can figure out what went wrong with the comms. Next thing I remember is waking up on on the infirmary. You clearly got into an escape pod somehow. You were in a pretty bad shape. The pod's medbot patched you up until we could get to you. It's a good thing you installed them then. What about Harcrow? Did he make it? No, it doesn't seem so. We didn't find his body, but the Icarus was just a burning wreck at that point. Did you get anything from the Icarus's logs? No, we didn't manage to save anything of value from it. You're one of the few survivors. The blessing in this whole mess is that the Icarus was running on a skeleton crew. We don't have much to go on, do we? What else has been going on while I was out? What do you want to know? Who are you again? <laughs> where does the council stand? Uh, where is she now? I'd like to thank her. I'm afraid I cannot tell you because I don't know, sir. She went berserk when she found out we didn't find Harkrow. I haven't heard from her since. I've already notified our agents to keep an eye out. I'd hate it if something were to happen to her. After what happened, we need every able person on the ready. What else can you tell me, Raynor? Okay, where does the council stand? I worked on the damn thing. Yes, they don't think you actually did it, but they're saying you messed up because organizing security was on your shoulders. So where does that leave me now? I've managed to convince them to give at least to give, at least give you another chance. I've got a ship waiting for you in orbit. One of the gunship class. Meet me with meet with me on Concordia. We'll talk more once you're there. We'll do. Okay, so this is the shipyard, or shall we say, the space station. And you can look at all of your various things here. You can look at your ship, as you can see. You can look at your equipment. You can change out your equipment. You even have troopers and things that can board enemy vessels. So, yeah. It is it is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And you also have a wide variety of different skills, as you can see here. Obviously, I, I, I'm not really going to get into that just yet. But there's so much to look at, so many perks to look at and everything. You, of course, level up and gain things. You can take jobs, you can trade, you can do anything you so desire. It's basically, as I said at the beginning, Mountain Blade in space. Pretty cool. So, if you would like to see more of this, then don't forget to hit any button down below there. Hit some buttons and let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see more as well. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.